I must find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. Thank you, Sherlock. Hello, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. It's been quite a while since I played this, but uh, I think I remember what to do. Uh, I One thing, though, like I know we're here to get the key for that crazy guy who's gonna scream, but why are we here? I honestly have no idea what we're even doing in Switzerland. I cannot remember at all. I know it's something about the Black Ed Edelweiss, like, what that is, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. An old puppet. Almost as welcoming as Fraulein Muller. A medicine man is not always at the service of life. Wait. I must hide and avoid the nurse. El Wait, the... Is that supposed to be a compliment or an insult? Because she didn't seem that, like, nasty to me. What's this now? Syringe. 15 millimeters diameter. 12 millimeters diameter. 18 millimeters diameter. Alright. Great. Fantastic. Let's I go. Hide and avoid yep. Thank you, Sherlock. Scale. This won't be of any use to me. Yet. Alright. Is there anything else here? Let's just go into first person, because why not? So if I just, like, run up... Okay. Dude, maybe you should, like, do something? No, no, it can't be. Wait. <sighs> it can't end like this. What? Oh. Well, all right. That's fine. I must hide and avoid the... Yeah, I know. Now, let's just save in case I screw up again. Which I probably will. Let's save on this save. Alright, so... What now? I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Because if I just walk up here, he's gonna notice me, right? Yeah. All right, I'll be back. I must hide and avoid. That's gonna get old. Uh, should I just get out of here? I don't know what else I can do currently. Bring me the crowbar, or I'll. Sc well, yeah, I know you'll scream. You've made that quite clear. So that's nothing. Wait, could I go in here? Closed tight. Is this that key? Or is it there? Ah, okay. Ah, that's the... Wait, no, that's not a crowbar. What is that? Iron bar. I'm sure that's fine. He can't really be fussy about his... bars of... crow and whatnot. What's this? Am I seriously gonna... Okay, no. I was thinking I would pick up that entire, like, stone slab. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Take everything, I guess. Take that. I must measure them first, before taking them. The diameter of this pipe is 18 millimeters. Okay. The diameter of this 16. pipe... 16. 22. And... The diameter 10. of this pipe... The diameter no, stop of doing pipe. that. Stop. These pipes are too large to carry more than one at a time. Oh, I see. I see. So, These pipes are too large. I, I don't know what I'm using that for. I assume it's something to do with this. Uh, wait. How big was the this? 16. This pipe is Whoops. And this was too the big. Diameter. So I guess I'm just taking... The diameter of this... The 18 one, since I have a syringe like that. I'm the not diameter. sure why I'm doing this, but I guess we'll find out. These pipes are too large. Yeah, just swap it out. These pipes are too large to carry. Man, Sherlock, you can be quite annoying at times. All right, so let's see if he wants. Why? What? Oh, come on. Wow. Wow, that was weird.
Alright, let's see if we can give this guy his darn crowbar. Here, have this. Oh, bless you. And here you are. Greetings. Careful. You best not linger here. If they find you, they will throw you down below. Don't come any closer, Into please. Depths. Into hell. What's he doing there? Stop him, quickly. Stand where you are. Can I go up now? Jesus Christ. It seems that Maurizio finally attracted some attention. Excellent. Ah. Now the stairs are clear and I may return upstairs. All right, let's save again. And let's head upstairs then to see what's over there. Again, I'm not... Whoa, what are you doing? What? What? Sherlock, come on. Sherlock? Sherlock, do what I tell you to do. There we go. But yeah, I'm actually not sure what our objective is for this. No, what? Sherlock, come on. Let's look in the Closed closet. Tight. No, can I do anything about that? Closed no. Tight. Why do I have an anvil? When did I get an anvil? I don't remember getting an anvil. Oh well. This leads I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract unwanted attention. I must change my clothing. Oh, so this is the uh let's go into first person just to check. Lightung. I don't know I what Lightung too obvious means. I am in my present attire and will attract unwanted I, attention. Uh, I must change haven't my clothing. studied German in quite a long time. I mean, I understand basic German, but I can't really uh speak it or anything. What am I doing here? I was going to do this just to check. I have no reason to go there. Okay, so that's out to the, like, reception or whatever. Stop pressing escape. So yeah, let's go in here. I am too obvious in my present... Closed. Tight. Not sure why I'm in I first person right now. I am present attire and will attract let's... unwanted attention. I must change... Oh, I see. But I don't have any other clothing. I am too obvious in my... Yes, Sherlock, I know. How do I do that, though? I don't have any clothes. Like, I assume I am I'm... Too obvious in my present Jesus time. Christ, Sherlock, you really like repeating yourself this time, or Closed today. Tight. Okay, so... Oh, that's something. Keys. To what? Maybe uh, this closet? That would be convenient, and then there's like a doctor's coat. Tight. Okay, not that. So... Yay! Not sure why I did that. Really not sure why I did that. Can I go down here? I can. Oh yeah, this is where I came from. Hey guy. Lord, what a Okay. I should uh stop using that. Is this locked? Closed. Tight. Can I unlock it with the keys I just found? I can. Alright, getting somewhere. Hello. Excuse me, miss. Go away, you swine. Leave, or I'll make you bleed. Wait, wait, wait. Who said that? Someone in this game said that before. Who was that? I can't remember. I know that's, like, a reused voice line, or I'm having some severe deja vu slash 
like... Oh. Oh. Where... Where are you hiding? Where are you? Don't leave me all alone. Heidi. Oh. Oh. Well, the subs are wrong. She said Heidi O instead of Oh Heidi. Closed tight. Can I unlock that? Closed no. tight. So, what am I doing? Let's sedate her. Oh. No. Let's give her the doll. I cannot do this. All right, let's give her the wig. No. Nope. Let's give her things. I don't know. What? Why am I here? Smack her in the head with an anvil. That's about the most senseful thing I know right now. So, it's not this. I guess I just have to do something in that room with the guard. But I don't know what. I'm just going to go to first person because it's so annoying to navigate this place. Uh, in here. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm. And I must find some means of neutralizing him. But Am I, like, going to make a blowpipe or something out of this? Because that would be absolutely ridiculous. Let's just try to combine this with any everything. Alright, so that doesn't work. I'm almost thinking it might be uh, time a scale for a hint. This won't be of any use to me. Put the anvil on the scale. A scale. Okay. This won't be of any Yeah, use I think to me. I'm going to use a hint right now. Cuz I really don't know what I should do right now. Right now, right now. Uh, I don't want to have that. Let's do this. How can I neutralize the male nurse in the laboratory? Explore the near portion of the room to see what you can find. Take the three syringes from the bottom shelf of the work, work, work bench to the right of where you entered the room. Any of these should work to sedate the, room, the nurse, but you can't get close enough to use them on him directly. You'll have to find another way to administer the sedative. How might you deliver a needle full of drug from across the room? Perhaps you could fashion... Oh my god, I'm actually making a blowpipe. I was just kidding. Are you kidding me? Well, yes. No, I'm not. I don't know. So, I guess I need a pipe that's another size. Because, I mean, if it's 18 diameter, it probably wouldn't fit an 18 diameter uh, syringe. So, I guess These I need... Pipes are too large. These pipes Let's take are too that large one. to carry more than There we go. Don't know really how I did that, but that's fine. I must hide and yep, avoid the Yep, net. yep, yep. Let's save because I'm probably going to screw this up. Let's go back into... Can't go into first person. Thir or third person, I mean. Wait, can I use A this scale. to, like... This no. won't be of any... There we go. Well done. I kind of doubt that if you just got a like needle with sedative stuck in you, I don't think you would fall asleep because you know you kind of need to push the needle down to like push out the fluid inside. Yeah. Well, never mind. And now I guess I grab his uniform. Drunken sounds. Now these are drunken sounds. I don't know if I should tell you that. Well, I have now. I think I'm doing fairly well, considering it's also 4 a.m. 
Take the remaining stones and convert them to cash. What? Then buy back the rest of the goods as Schnitzer asked. Okay, I want all of this to be settled before my departure. All this is right. a letter from Gijax, as this is clearly his signature. I don't understand. Stones? What stones could he mean? Yeah. This product is primarily composed of potash, which, if blended in precise proportions with water and chlorine, creates a spectacular smoke. But I will also need a bottle or container of some sort. These cans won't do. They're too large. Do I have anything? This one? Now it can't be used for... Okay. Let's grab everything we can find. Strange. These appear to be pink crystals. Okay. This box contains bottles labeled Black Edelweiss, which are identical to those found in the London sect hideouts. As I suspected, they most definitely came from here. I will take one. In a room at the Black, Black Edelweiss, I found some boxes with labeled bottles identical to those found at the Sect's Temple in London. They are quite unique and must have been shipped from here, and this proves a link between the Sect and this insti institute, which is the private hospital of Dr. Gijax. Alright. Take a bottle as well. Is that chlorine? These boxes yeah. contain chlorine. Box? That's not a box, Sherlock. So, I guess I do this and take that. This product is no, I don't. That? This product no, is I don't. Spoonful of this product is primarily chlorine composed or of potash. This product is primarily composed of Okay. Not sure what I'm doing here. Can't I take his... Oh, there's something. This book appears to be an inventory ledger. However, it is in code, and I don't have the time to properly decipher it. I see Dr. Gijax's signature at the bottom of each page. Interesting. This book must detail his shipments to England. Grasshopper Company. Import and Export. Sirish. I don't know how you pronounce that, really. Uh, I can't remember. Dear Dr. Gijax, my secretary has informed me that you have suspended further shipments of your order for some of our products. This is quite disturbing, since you are well aware this signif that significant liberties were taken with the loss of this country in order... In Oh, order. Yeah, it looked like it said orfer or something, or onfer. Order to acquire these goods on your behalf. You should know that the quantity of goods stored in my warehouse is considerable and was imported, imported in anticipation of your stated needs. Taking into account the potential danger which retaining these goods in my warehouse rep represents, I have lowered their price two times over in an effort to dispose of them. I trust you understand that this you understand that discovery of these substances in my warehouse by the local authorities would lead to the undesirable undesirable necessity necessity I'm, I'm sorry of having to explain myself and it would prove most difficult to conceal their intended des destination which be, would be your establishment best regards F Schnitzer I'm really sorry I'm not reading things very well tonight because you know this letter is dated two weeks alcohol ago. and sleep deprivation they do that to you This product so, is primarily what am I doing exactly? Oh, more. It is not about magic. In fact, everything is a question of will. Also, uh, the mind, its power, its secrets. Uh, we are sometimes surprised by a young child's vigor and force of action. The point to consider is that when a child moves to, to act, all their being and will are focused on that one action and they move without the slightest inhibition, which might paralyze an adult. A man who wants to leap across a trench first considers what would become of him if he should fail and fall, or he might consider his landing and how to avoid a nasty sprain. 
Even worse are the results of acting under the gaze of someone from some under the gaze of some silly young woman he seeks to impress. All these distractions distractions prevent the man from con concentrating all his will and strength on leaping across the trench, which reduces his chance of success. If this man, like a child, acted as though nothing else existed or mattered at this moment other than this leap, I maintain he would leap not just this trench, but one three times again as wide. Consider for one moment ancient lore, such as Greek mythology. Wouldn't the strength that of gods granted Hercule that the gods granted Hercules be more corollary, cor corollary, corollary condition, a more corollary condition of spiritual beatitude and a poor mind? I don't know what that means. Other learned texts speak of the alcoholic, antisocial, and of the whole aber aberrant nature of this hero. All these are signs of a poor of poor intelligence and ignorance of the positive or negative aspects of one's environment. His permanent dialogue with the gods and the fact that these deities flatter our hero regarding his potency drives him to an enraptured state that is characterized by chronic recklessness and complete faith concerning the success of his prowess. Recklessness and disregard of the world are the same qualities of the child. Let us imagine that amazing strength serving a weak but inhibited... Wait. Oh, let us imagine that amazing strength serving a weak but uninhibited mind. Here is a being, with or without the presence of God, who would possess outstanding force. Furthermore, we could imagine much more or worse, and the thought sometimes frightens me. Let us imagine a man, big and well-formed, such as the a that ancient hero, but now with the intellectual capacities of the brightest scholars. Further assume that for one reason or an another, they have disconnected from their environment and society, falling into a condition close to childhood. Let, let us further hypothesize, for reasons of survival or due to an irrepressible and violent emotion, such as love, or worse, hate. This being is driven to act. Then I maintain that there is no, no force on earth, be it physical or celestial, capable of stopping such a feat. Mental power totally concentrated on a unique act is such a ray of pure energy that it will draw all known and unknown forces from a man. Released from the hindrances of social thought and other scru scru scruples? scruples? I'm not sure what that means. They will become a human cyclone. This power unleashed would be so awesome, it would turn even the bloodthirsty animals of the Dark Continent into arthritic canaries. Or canaries. Okay, sorry about all the stuttering and, book, like, badly pronunciation. And Bad secrecy. pronunciation. Hmm. Promising title. So, is there anything else here? This product is primarily because I can't do anything with this, can I? This product is primarily compared. This product is primarily. Stop it! I'm just gonna use this everything. This product is prime. This product is prime. This product is prime. This product is primarily. This product is. Ah, uh, man! This it's product is oh, it's so weird. You can't like. You can't, can't skip it. Used for anything. That's odd. So it seems this is what I should use, but it's not fit in this current state. So maybe I have to, like, clean it or, uh, you know, what's it called? I can't remember when you, like, uh, make something free of bacteria and stuff. I honestly can't remember the word now. That's annoying. Not, like, disinfect. Uh, there's something the else I'm thinking of. seems to have all the usual... All right, let's try and use this. Their laboratory seems no. Let's try to use chlorine. Their laboratory no. Let's try to use this. Their laboratory no. seems to Crystals. Their laboratory no. seems to have. All right. So what am I doing? 
Well, I know what I'm doing. I think I will con or end the episode here. Uh, in the same spot that we started. How's that for something? Anyways, uh, I think I'll actually record one more right now, because uh, I'm not really sleepy, and I might as well try to get something done here. I, I did do a lot this episode, but it feels like I did nothing. But uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!